to the Nigeria government and its leaders be informed that the Niger Delta region is never a conquered land for any man born of a woman. It did not happen during the time of our forefathers and it will never happen in our own time. Over the years, the Niger Delta people have made frantic efforts to create an enabling environment that can promote business activities and subsequently bring the desired development that the people has been yearning for and promote the living standard of the people. But to our greatest dismay, the Nigerian government over the years have decided to handle the issues of the Niger Delta region with kid gloves. They have betrayed the struggle and have left the people to their fate. Look at the outcome of the amnesty program for the agitators from the Niger Delta region. After accepting the amnesty pact and believing that the region will experience rapid development and transformation, till date, no school, no portable water, no light, no hospital, and access roads for our people to enjoy. Rather, what is visible as an individual achievement is the presence of military gunboats and the numerous military personnel dispatched to the Niger Delta region who are raping, killing, and maiming the innocent people of the region. They have put serious fear in the minds of our elderly people because they are no longer safe in their own once peaceful communities. All for the government to take over our common words from our resources. Look at the security surveillance contracts taking place in our region. Through the federal government and its agencies in place, have, they have decided to shortchange our people. Now in our territorial waters, it is an Israeli company that is providing waterway security, which we have competent hands with expertise knowledge to manage and provide short security services. Look at the likes of Ocean Marine Solution providing pipeline surveillance contracts in a territory that has more than enough capacity hands to handle such contracts. Take a look at the Ogoni cleanup just because it is a solar Niger data project from 2011 till date after the establishment and taking off of the project. No meaningful progress has been made because the government of Nigeria have decided to place politics above meaningful development of our people and the region at large. Look at the oil and gas sector and what is happening today in the gold mining sector in the Zamfara at the northern region part of the country. Why the local mining licenses are being given to locals and state governments having full control and management of the entire affairs of the sector. But in the Niger Delta, oil and gas sector, the federal government have decided to cut away all our wealth and decide to give us peanuts. Please allow us to manage our resources. The ways and for a gold mining sector is being handled by their own people. There is always a saying that what is good for the goose should also be good for the gander. We are not second class citizens of this country. We are full blooded Nigerians. And if you believe, and the federal government of Nigeria believes that we are part of Nigeria, we should be treated the way it ought to be treated. Boko Haram terrorist group is ravaging the entire northeastern region of this country for over seven years. And no single community has been raised down by the Nigerian security organization, especially the militaries, for suspicion of terrorists being from such communities. But in the Niger Delta, Suspected sea pirate activities in the region has led to the raising down of our communities and over hundreds of such communities are in record. The same military that hopes to provide, uh, uh, pro protect and uh, provide properties has turned themselves into militaries of killing, raping and miming innocent individuals and rendering our area and our youth jobless. So many others have decided to treat us in the same manner. Don't worry because we are coming to destroy all your infrastructures in Abuja and Lagos. Even to the oil companies operating in our region that have decided to undermine our people, be rest assured that your days will soon catch up with you. Due to the 
insensitivity nature of the Nigerian government on issues that are bordering its citizens. Today, the country is in turmoil. Protests everywhere and strikes in several sectors. The end-side process that took place crippled the nation, almost crippled the nation economy. It is among such ill treatment that gave birth to this unprecedented protest. Nigerian government ought to give our citizens good governance. Today, the various zones in the country are calling for division of the country called Nigeria. So, as a group determined to give total liberation of our people, we will destroy all the oil facilities, both onshore and offshore. In no distance time, we will be seen to be crippling the Nigeria economy in no distance time as well. We have made communication channels available to interface with the federal government again. And this time, we are nominating former President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan as representative representing formal leaders from our region. We are nominating Edmond Dakoru, the former Minister of Petroleum, as representative from the Elders Forum and traditional rulers. And we are also nominating Yesowiko of Data River State as present leaders and politicians to mediate between the federal government and our group to bring lasting peace and the desired development to our people. The Supreme Egbosu Liberation Fighters! Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Supreme Egbosu Liberation Fighters! Yeah, the Supreme Egbosu Liberation Fighters! We are fighting for freedom! Thank <laughs> you. 